Hello everyone. So today I took my little orchid helper out and was going to uh, treat her to some sweets. And then I ended up picking up some sweets for myself. And it turned into a bit of an orchid haul. So today I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys some of the ones that I picked up. Okay, and so the first one is, I believe this is a Ballara. Um, it's, of course, doesn't, it didn't come with a tag. Um, it's really healthy. And it is extremely beautiful. It's like a pearlized white creamish color with red splashes. Very beautiful. And as you can see, the flower is, is big. It's, it's not one of those small orchid flowers. And this is her full profile. And if we look in here, she actually has a new pseudobulb growing. So that's always a good sign that the orchid is healthy. So if you guys are out looking for orchids, don't just look at the flowers. The flowers is not going to tell you exactly the health of the orchid. You want to look to see if there's any new growth and also look at, you know, the roots. Of course, some of them, you're not going to be able to look at the roots because the pots, they don't come in clear pots. Okay, and for our next one is this gorgeous Zygopetalum. She has this rich purple color with a purple lip with white splashes and some green in there. Very pretty. And she has this slight fragrance it's very, very light. And for those of you who may not know, zygopetalums, they actually will send out a flower spike, not on a mature pseudobulb, but on a immature pseudobulb. And I'm lucky today because I picked one up that actually has a new growth, an immature growth, that I can show you guys. So let's take a look at it right here. So this is what an immature pseudobulb looks like. Once it gets a little bigger and a little taller, it'll also send out a flower spike from there. So if you look at this flower spike here, you'll see that it is coming out of this immature suitable right here. So you can see that. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get another close-up look of this beauty before we move on to the next. Okay, so for our next orchid is this Dendrobium nobly. It is a deep purple color with purple and yellow lip. One thing about a Dendrobium nobly that I notice is that their cane always starts out really thin so if you see it starts out really thin but as it matures it starts plumping up so you're definitely going to have to stake it in order for it to be able to uh, hold all these flowers Okay, let's move on to our next one.
this one here, I believe it is another Bellara. It has not bloomed yet. It only has the spike and the flower buds. So it's, I'm pretty anxious to see what it looks like. And the reason that I believe it might be another Bellara is because of the size of the flower buds. And it has the same characteristics of a Oncidium with the pseudobulbs like that. So as soon as this one blooms, I'll go ahead and post it on my Facebook page and you guys can uh, take a look at it. Move on to the next one. Okay, and our next one is an Oncidium. It is like a brown color with gold. So it's like a copper, gold, brownish color. It's really cute. See the bulbs? And I wanted to show you guys how long the spike is on this girl. Look at that. That's one of the spike. And here is the other spike. So the flower spikes are pretty long. Here's another look at it before we move on to the next one. This is also another no ID on Cidium. So if you guys do know the name for them, uh, I would love it if you could post it on the comment and let me know. Okay, so the next two that we have is a Dendrobium kingianum with miniature flowers. This one's so pretty and it smells so nice. It has lots and lots of flowers. Really healthy plants. And this is the second one. The flowers haven't really opened yet on this one. So we can take a look at what it will look like. This one's a lighter, uh, sorry about that. This one is like a lighter pink compared to the other one. And one thing about this dendrobium is they will shoot off lots of cakeys. So for those who love cakeys, this is your orchid. So you'll find a cakey here, another cakey here, lots and lots of cakeys. And I have to show you this one. It's a huge cakey. So right there is this cakey with his own flower spike and roots. And it's nice that they have cakeys because you can always uh, take them off and give them to somebody or trade them with somebody. You'll have plenty to share with this orchid. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is a yellow Cymbidian. Also, no ID. Most of the orchids that you buy at either the grocery stores or at any of the home and garden centers, a lot of them do not have IDs on them. 
they pretty much just classify it as exotic orchid or if you get an oncidium it just says oncidium intergeneric and stuff like that so you kind of have to do your own research to find out the actual id for it very pretty long green leaves i'd have to say that this is one of the easier orchids to have they aren't epiphytes they're terrestrials so meaning they grow in the ground their roots are in the ground and not on trees and they can handle, you know, cold weather. Not freezing, but they can handle it. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay, so what we have here is an Oncidium twinkle. Usually the Oncidium twinkles are the Oncidiums with the small flowers and Lots and lots of spikes and sprays of small flowers. This one definitely has a lot. And lots of flower buds that hasn't opened yet. So it's going to be pretty spectacular looking once it has. And then on this side, None of the buds have opened up yet, but there's a bunch of buds on the spike. Very, very pretty. Okay, one more look at it before we move on to the next one. Okay, so last but not least is one of my favorite Oncidium. This is the Oncidium Sherry Baby. And she also has the long flower spike. And one thing about this Oncidium Sherry Baby is that it smells like chocolate. It's a pretty strong smell, you know. So if you have this orchid in a small room, it'll definitely fill that room up with that scent. It's absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite. Okay, so that will conclude my video today. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my room that I have some of my orchids in. So here are some of my cymbidians. And some of the orchids that I got today. Another cymbidian. Another Cymbidian, and then the one I got today. I'll probably repot her. Okay, everyone, thank you for tuning in, and please feel free to comment any suggestions, any questions. Please post it in the comment below, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you. Please don't forget to subscribe.